What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Mysore. So to pick up where we left off, we've done an awful lot of fighting and we're back at war on the Indian continent. But at the minute we are about to secure Paramaribo from the French Empire and that will give us a good foothold in the Americas for further expansion. So we have a small garrison to deal with plus uh, this ragtag reinforcement coming in. But yeah, shouldn't cause many issues. We're going to advance, take the territory, send a unit forward to scout out and secure the port. And then we can start to invest in these regions to provide bountiful goods for the home country. Especially when we we know we have a few fights against the, uh, the Marathi Confederacy to uh, complete. So my cavalry and my general is going to be up front. My reinforcements plus my melee troops, including the first contingent of native warrior auxiliary, which roughly much more melee attack than dervishes, but much less morale. You need to keep an eye on them. These troops to the rear are just going to redeploy to focus their deployment wherever the enemy reinforcements are coming in from. Horsemen. Gun down the garrison. Cavalry push up. And the enemy battle line is over here. We're going to leave that weak unit of warriors behind. Focus our strength on the left. Yeah. Our cavalry are going to knock out the mortar garrison. My camels are going to go clear up this colonial unit. Then my actual infantry force is going to push against the main Reinforce me, reinforcing units axis of advance. Let's push my cavalry up rapidly. Advance my other units up quickly. The native troops appear to move much quicker than the dervishes do. So give everyone attack orders. I want my... See if I can get my... My skirmish cavalry in first. To try and prevent them from firing a volley. French unit of French general coming my way. Yeah, as soon as I give an attack order, he's like, whoop. Yeah, shatter the unit to make sure it doesn't come back. Form square. Poor old enemy general, he's stuck inside the square. Push my cavalry up. Yeah, mostly it's a bunch of chaff. Select all of you guys except the dervishes. Get them to both focus on the militia conscripts. Break the native warrior auxiliary, get you guys out of square. And advance. 
camels have shattered them. Mow down the militia. Just give my native warrior auxiliary an order to attack the 3rd Regiment of Militia. Which they are doing admirably. You guys charge on into the next unit. Colonial Militia, Colonial Militia. Fundamentally, we're just cutting through them. When these guys are formed up... Oh, my general's all the way back there. When these guys are formed up, they'll cut down the 4th Regiment, although they don't really need to worry about actually shooting them. Charge down into the 16th Regiment from the high ground. Already routed me kill this entire unit of Hessian line. Oh, there they go. Hurrah. So we may still have French troops out in our territory. They're probably gonna raid and break things. Yeah, we do. But at least we have the territory secure. Spend whatever we can. We can't replenish anything with 46 cash. Nor can we repair the government building. But still, that's Paramaribo secured. And another 853 in valuable tax income. Two and a half thousand incoming. Oh yeah, because we've lost trade now, haven't we, with our nations. Which is secure trade with the Mughals. So that gets us back up to 35 hundo. Elsewhere in Europe, Prussia's doing well. Poland's doing okay. But there's no major surprises. The Dutch might be on the ropes. But apart from that... Apart from that, we've got you who are going to replenish and then strike north. If you go east against us, we've got a good force here now. Ultimately, that Maratha army, that's going to dictate where our main strike will be. If they go east, we, we're not going to push Hyderabad. If they go west, we will push Goa and then push Hyderabad again with the other army in the east. So ideally, they'll go west. They'll decide, ah, this is ripe to get caught out here. Let's not carry on doing what we were going to do. If they go southeast, that'll be annoying, but then my army that's near Goa will go move east to block them, and then we'll continue to push against Hyderabad. You can see they're reinforcing. They've dug in, which is good. Very well, in which case we will continue to push against Hyderabad again. The Mughals have declared war on me, even though I've just started to trade with them, because that is the way. They're going to blockade one of my ports. And a large army is coming down the east coast. El Clasico. Well, I need, I can't keep defending one, defending the other, defending one, defending the other. I have to push and knock out someone. We're going to need to keep pouring money into our own kingdom. Ugh. My symbols all went funny. Fifth, fifth, Jebek, Brig, Brig. Three fifths in the sloop. Could probably. If you're good at fighting, you could win that. New men replenish and position smartly. Okay, what's the best thing to do? Best thing to do is probably to move you guys back east. To block this army that's on the way. Give them camel support. You're going to grow in strength and then strike at this force here. Lots of infantry, but they are also 
They're now at full strength, which is concerning. Let's bring the horsemen up. Recruit Hindu warrior. But again, we're getting into an income problem here. It's frustrating, really. They declared war on us just enough that we couldn't make decisive progress against the Marathas. I move you guys out of Paramaribo? No, they very much don't like us. We can repair the Magistrate, though. Then we can start to get some of that tax back. But you guys need to replenish for one turn, then we need to attack one of these armies and obliterate them. We, that force that's in the east, when it fights that Mughal army, it will then push up the coast towards Kutak. And then we'll try and use that to... I mean, I don't want to make peace with you. I don't want to make... I don't want to... I don't want to ally with the... Uh, the Poles, because I don't want to be drawn into any European wars. Should probably see if peace is possible. It likely will not peace with the the Marathas. It likely will not be, but I, I don't, I can't fight against both of them at once. But then again, the Marathas is where the the better opportunities lie, Goa and so on. No trade with New Spain. Because they're not protecting their ports. Oh no. Peace. No, I'm not going to give you that territory. Moogles. Okay. First thing to go is going to be, well, I should probably risk this fight here, because if I win, I, uh, if I win, I unlock my trade, but if I don't, bankrupt. Or, well, I'm probably going to do, I missed, blip, blip. Gets us back slightly positive again. Gave away Goa to the British. Interesting. Who are you? Bajir, Swordsman Bajir. I mean, we are going to hit Mr. Golly. If I can get this side of you. Oh, nuts. I'm not in range. Okay, what if I... If I don't take the guns, I am in range, and the guns will come in as a reinforcement. Okay, let's do it. We need to do it, and we need to push. We need to just sweep everyone we can find. Probably not recruit any more troops. Just uh, consolidate troops and maintain the advance. It's frustrating to get they sold Goa. Because that means it will draw us into war with Britain in future. But hopefully once we've... Okay, right, so... Got a lot of mobile melee elements. But then again, so do they. But we've got a lot of very cavalry heavy. Which is probably what we need to be. Because 
is the main focus of the center. The infantry center is just to hold, fix the goods. We do get our guns. Not that they're going to be in the best position. But by the looks of it, they're going to be fairly static. And it looks like their guns are going to be isolated as well. Camel Nomads, my pikes have got your name. My pikes have got your name on them. So maybe my dervishes. As well as my troops, they can get into square formation. They also have things to say to you. Pushing my cavalry around the flank. Yeah, you might be winning slightly, but you've hit a square formation, me old Maka. You guys can keep peppering away at the enemy guns. Enemy lances are broken. Hopefully, we can shatter them. Shattered is good. a big cavalry formation there. Not quite so ideal because you're not getting as much advantage of fighting cavalry or hitting the square formation as I'd like. Oh, just take them out. Camel Nomads are down to half their number. Let's knock out the cannons. Because that will, there we go, knock out their guns properly. Large cavalry wing is free to roam on the left. They don't seem to like that very much. So let's advance my centre up. So I'm taking a few more casualties than I should have done from charging this because I didn't really do it properly. You guys fall back because I want these dervishes to get down here pretty ricky tick, probably with these Hindu musketeers as well. 
because that's a large block of troops for one pike unit to fight. Keep pushing up. How's my gun doing? Withdraw, charge my camels in. Get my pikes to help out. Push my infantry flank up. Keep my dervishes around the flank. Get my horsemen. Skirmish their general's bodyguard. There we go. Camels down on the flank. Keep pushing in. So my pikes have hit the Bajir infantry in the front. These dervishes are going to hit them in the flank. What are they? Pikemen? Skirmish. You men withdraw. Combine the troops. Hopefully these guys can sandwich and destroy the Bajir infantry. Lots of enemy folks here in the centre though. Combine my cavalry, try get my infantry to form up to fire in the flank of the Hindu troops. Hopefully you guys can knock out the Bajir infantry fairly quick. Charge into the rear of the pikes. I'm hoping we can break them pretty quick. With a second unit of horsemen, we probably can. Even have to commit. Where's my camels in this mess? Gotta try and fight the bodyguard. This unit that was wavering has to push in as well. This could go not very well because I've got lots of. You guys cease fire. You guys could really do with knocking out that infantry unit. Enemy general's bodyguard has been killed. I need to get my pikes in on the flank. To be honest, this whole thing is getting quite dicey now. Excellent to get so many. Okay, the guns are in position. Keep the enemy, keep the troops moving. Especially what so many cavalry. Throw them in. Guns, focus on the general's bodyguard all the way to the rear. Everyone else needs taking out. At a significant level. 
we have a huge opportunity here. So many routing troops. Make sure my musketeers are all fire at will off. Damn right, we're going to continue. This is absolute gold. Fundamentally, we're going to almost potentially wipe out that entire army. Stop the guns from firing. Yep, yeah, you've killed everyone you can. Send someone after their general. Not that I think they'll get them. But it's worth... Worth the expense. Okay, speed up time. Barge your infantry down. You try to chase down that unit of dervishes, but there's no, not much point committing the rest of my cavalry because the damage is done. It's this last unit here. They're the, they're the only thing on the board. Decisive victory. Yes, that's exactly the word. Look at that. 4,000 men. Gone. Poof. So we are going to combine units. Rather than go mad replenishing because we have limited income. Okay, 800. Okay. That's where we're at. Oh, obviously. So there goes our British trade. It doesn't mean we can take Goa, but it's just frustrating that we've had to lose trade with Britain over it. They know we're weak. They know we're vulnerable. I don't think I should have eased back and focused on the colonies. I should have had a third army in play. That would be perfect right about now. To be honest, if I can clear out Guyana, I'll bring them back. Or do I trade away peace with someone for an overseas territory like that? i got to, really. The fight I need to win is at home, not overseas. I'm definitely going to be bankrupt this turn. That's just going to happen. Hmm. And that's definitely not going to help either. I could try and sell my territories to someone. Sold of the Ottomans or Prussia. Yeah, definitely bankrupt. Okay. So again, I did lose some useful time. Okay, so let's pick the low, the, the smallest unit of Hindi musketeers. Nine hundred and thirty-nine. That's a lot of cash to find. Okay, we're going to advance and take out you, draw in your force here. We're going to auto against you, because we've already... No, 
should probably fight it just to make sure we do it as efficiently as possible, then swing west and take Goa. Then we can look at trying to trade away our territories. The one, the territory we haven't spent any money in, we could bring them back. We could try and trade away that region. Then we could probably stand to maybe trade away the other region, because then that would cause our army to teleport back to India, rather than needing to bring it back ourselves. Okay, you're staying back. Combine the cavalry. I mean, that was quite that was a significant win to destroy that entire army near as damn it they're not gonna be able to rebuild that anytime soon this force we're facing we have enough key elements in play oh, that's an excellent shot there by my artillery. Dervishes to push the flank. It's got an embedded Bajir infantry unit. Keep my cavalry mobile up the flank. Keep on flanking. Yeah, they got some pot shots off at us. The generals decided to charge right up into our face. Islamic swordsmen, Bajir infantry, got new men, present. Charge some units in. They're going to go down. You guys need to back up the camels. You guys skirmish the Islamic swordsmen because they are spooky. Actually, no, you don't. You need to get over there, charge into the back of them. You men push the flank of the Bajir infantry. You men charge into the back of them. Cease fire with my artillery. Knock out the Hindu warriors, you men cease fire. Islamic swords are the, are the most dangerous one, but let's try and clear them out sequentially. You men attack the Bajir infantry. wipe them out as much as they can be wiped out. Get these 
Camel Nomads out of the fight. Well, not so fast. There we go. Horsemen go after the Hindu warriors because they're so weak. You men go after the swordsmen. Continue the action for sure. Okay, both these units can go after the Islamic swordsmen because they're so dangerous. Only two Hindu warriors, one Hindu warrior, good. So there is a unit over there that's going to run away, but it's the general's bodyguard, I'm not overly concerned about that. Not in the grand scheme of things, although they are the last one left alive. But there we go, okay. So that was something. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't as clean as Autorizov might have been. But now you men. 1200. Right. Diplomacy. Major nations. France. What if I get peace? Offer. They might not give it to me because they might say we're going to take it back anyway. Right. Po Ottomans. Regions. I'll take a couple of grand. Nope, they're not having any of that. For a grand? Hmm. Austria. Oh, and Dutch guy on, that's what we want to get rid of first. Ultimately, because there is a pirate ship out there, I need to... Do I, need, do I just give it away? So that this army teleports back to... Uh, so it teleports back to my home territory. It's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. Especially as, oh, actually, I'm losing even more money. Didn't think that through. Your Majesty. Uh, okay, first of all, let's combine these units as much as possible. Let's try to see if we can sell tech as well. Physiocracy for 970. Yes, diplomacy. Tech military syllabus for a grand. Okay. Carbines for a grand. They demand money. Me give them money? That's not going to happen. The Ottomans tech carbines for a grand. take it. I need money. If I combine that with that. To be honest, it hasn't that whole plan didn't work. That was stupid. Didn't think it through. But I'm going to hold here in Cayenne. When the pirates leave, this army is going to ship back to Europe, back to India rapidly. You men are going to go straight for Goa. You men are going to go straight for this force here. Because that will draw in the Hyderabad garrison. We'll wipe them out and we might be able to take Hyderabad as well. We've got enough cash to survive one turn. Hopefully, if we can secure Goa next turn, that will open us up to some trade. Then we might have to start selling more stuff. Hopefully, we can sell... We could be able to sell that territory in Guyana for short-term cash. Because we need it.
Okay, let's take you two. You two. Keep you guys as a reserve. Combine our troops. At least we would take out the Hyderabad garrison. Next turn we can then march on the city rapidly. Okay, speed up time. Let's see you guys are advancing quickly. They are charging. Both these units drop into square. Yeah, that motivated them to believe charging would be a bad idea, so we can form our line properly again. Keep pushing on the left. These guys have Hindu Musketeer, Dervishes. Nothing really game breaking. Go on, Knight Dakil. Open fire against the, the Camel Nomads. Two units against the Camel Nomads. If we can make them rout, my horsemen would be able to pursue them until their ultimate demise. They've been broken. Actually, let's, no, let's not go mad. Oh yes, please, you're in wavering range. Pursue them with my skirmish cavalry. You men might have to charge into... Hindu musketeers to make sure they mind their own business. Push my melee wings up. Pull my camels back, get my Zemandari horsemen to chase down the nomads properly. More camels. Ugh. Get back. We can slaughter the nomads, that'd be great. Enemy general's been killed. Smash into the musketeers. So you men get into position to make ready and fire. Human attack, get you guys in. Watch out for the camels in case they try decide to attack. 
Get my Camel Nomads in against their Camel Nomads. Back them up with a Dervish unit. Get everyone in. New men form rank against the camel gunners and open fire. Get my Hindu warriors to surround them. Camels are gone. Get the horsemen. Now oh, they're shattered. Charge the camel gunners and my Hindu warriors. Get in there, get my cavalry through the gap to try and pursue some of the routing enemy troops. You chase down the camel gunners. You men hit that unit of dervishes. You men get down here. Same with you guys. Everyone's hitting the camel gunners. I might try and give away that territory in, in, in America for peace with the Mughal Empire because they're currently blocking all my trade. So they might accept that as a good get. And they would also teleport my army back to India, which means I can use that to continue attacking against the Maratha Confederacy. which I'm definitely going to want to continue to attack. So make sure all my cavalry that's currently deployed doing stuff is doing the most useful version of it. You're chasing down camels. Yeah, they've successfully routed. Just get my Zimandari cavalry to try and chase down these camels but they are shattered anyway okay so that's done that let's push away the garrison push and take the garrison so we are minus a reasonable amount of money but I'm hoping if I go to the Mughal Empire and say there's peace I will offer French Guyana and I want a sweetener okay what if I offer peace and French Guyana for a smaller sweetener what if I offer peace and I offer French Guyana why would you not accept that peace region French Guyana, and I offer you a cool grand. That makes so little sense. So little sense. Well, you're on the way to Goa. You're on the way to Hyderabad. There's going to be a force coming down from the east. From here. We could spend the money on upgrades, but obviously we got no cash. I need... I, sh I really need to just spend more money on a better navy. You guys are good. You could probably win that fight, but I'm rubbish. So we lost trade with Britain. Can't trade with... Ooh, actually. This could save our bacon. Hi, Louisiana. Want to trade? Nope. Okay. Hi, Crimea. You're not very... No, you're not very alive very long. None of the major powers will trade with me. What if I do peace? No. Hoping to see if I get a trade agreement with someone. Peace? No, oh, I was hoping I... No, no trade with any of them. Trade. And... I offer you a... 
One hundred gold pieces. In good faith. Damn it. All right, Barbary States. <laughs> no one wants to trade with me. But my guys. My guys are good. No one wants to trade with me. Oh well. We'll still be afloat next turn. It's the darndest thing. Major nations, the Mughal Empire, peace, region, offer French Guyana, and I offer you two grand on my entire treasury. For God's sake. We need to do work. Merge the dervishes together. You need to take Goa. Hopefully that will then open up more trade options. Although, to be honest, no one wants to trade with us anyway. Which is incredibly frustrating. Hopefully the pirates leave our port. I mean, if you were offering us two grand, Poland, you'd get your alliance. But if the, if the pirates leave of their blockade in Guyana, that army will come back to India and we will continue to attack the Maratha Confederacy. There's probably going to be a massive army coming in from the Mughal Empire, which we're not going to see till the last minute, but there we are. So minus 1600, it's very much a sticking plaster. We may end up needing to increase taxes again. Yes, 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 stay away. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Good. You're a valuable region. You stay behind to guard the port. We need to get this army back to India. And I'm probably going to have to gamble. Well, ultimately, there's nothing, nothing lost if I don't win. But you guys can push and take Goa bloodlessly. Down to a grand. Which we don't have anyone really spare. We can occupy the port. We're going to have to attack it anyway. Question is though, do I then... Okay, what do I, what's the best way to do this? I'm going to have to do that. It's not, it's terrible, terrible policy. Oh no, I can't do that either because it's mine too negative then. Okay. Minus a thousand. Mughal Empire, request peace, just peace. Peace and trade. Peace and offer French Guyana. Fine. I want a grand for carbines, Austria. Damn. Portugal. Physiocracy for a grand. Military syllabus for a grand. No. I'm not giving away Karnataka, it's the only chip I've got. No one's going to accept trade again, even though the countries I'm actually friendly with. They seem to take it as some massive insult. Can you guys leave Goa? Minus nine. No, you cannot. Or I just take it as a punt and go for Satara. 
because that gives us two grand in tax. Raid their school. It's a real gamble. A real gamble. Not even going to exempt you from tax. If you rebel, you rebel to the, to the Portuguese hands anyway. You men may actually strike west. Not Hyderabad. Skip it. Mass on Satara. But we still need to solve our income problem in the short term, which we're probably not going to do. So, someone like Prussia. No, no tech. I mean, I'll take it because I don't, I just need, I need as much cash as I can get. And then I probably may as well fight this battle. Although I suck, and one of my ships is pretty knackered, so they do outstrength me there. One more turn till we get a boost from Spinning Jenny, but if we push and take Satara next turn, which we will be able to do... Gets us a good amount of cash. Obviously we just broke the university so they don't get as much cash. Minus thirteen hundred. Why have we got? Where's our income gone? Our loss per turn gone up. They're not going to buy any tech from us. No one's going to buy tech from us, are they? Nobody. We've already tried to sell to you. God, they, everyone really hates me. I mean, even you guys who like me, we've already tried this, haven't we? Let's see, they want me to give them all that stuff. For just for improved grenades. Get on your bike. It's only peace of the Mughals that matters. Peace. Regions. Offer French Guyana. And I don't want to give them tech, but I want to try. I'll try and make something. Peace. Regions. See, I'm giving them peace. A region overseas. Two technologies. Plus, my entire treasury. And it says they would never agree to it. And it's like, oh, you. Doesn't matter there. Tech. Carbines for Austria. Nope. <sighs> nearly, nearly messed it up there. Probably don't have, just don't have the cash. Our business is done. Ooh, excellent. So we've sold two technologies to them. Dagestan. Nope, it doesn't matter. Denmark. Nope, doesn't matter. Genoa. Nope. Georgia. Nope. Greece. They might be keen. Nope. They haven't got any cash. Okay, what if I give you a better technology like plug bayonets? I know carbines are a bit naff. No, they don't want to give us tech. They don't want to give us any cash. 
Morocco, we're friendly. No, they... They say we're friendly, but they very much don't like to deal with us. You probably won't deal with us because you're allies with the Moogles. Still, four grand. That keeps us in the game for a turn. Moreover, it lets us do that. And that. Not that it really matters. We probably want Jebex there rather than fifths because they're a bit... No, they got more hull strength and because I'm rubbish I need that hull strength. You repair that government building. The idea is if I could take Satara, I might be able to get a temporary peace with the Mughals. Push and take Kutak, get a temporary peace, well, get a temporary peace with the Marathas. Or if I push and take Satara, Ahmadnagar and Hyderabad, that's a whole bunch of tax we've now get, we, we will now get. Okay, let's hit end turn. Ah. GG. That's that's literally what it is. It's GG. Uh, yeah, we're not going to stop them. We're not going to stop them at taking Karnataka. That means our our capital is vulnerable. They got a full strength force at Satara. Yeah, we we are we are done. We are very much done. We are so, so done. Oh well. I could try a... See, the problem is, because we did have my fleet, if we could try and get a snatch and grab against somewhere like Katak or Calcutta, we might be able to get a temporary peace with the Mughals. Marathas, a piece. They're offering a grand for military access. They can take it. What if I give you trade and I offer you spinning jenny? Excellent. Okay. You men do not replenish. It's one of the it's a force from the Americas, so it's not massive. But we do want to go ahead and just combine as many units as we can. You guys need to steam all the way over to our cart. Okay. Positive again. Temporarily. Path blocked there. That's okay. Okay. So now you guys... Pick your weakest unit and then use that to strengthen everyone else. You men are probably better off joining this army rather than defending the town. Then when they're in there, we can take them out quite conclusively. You might even upgrade this building here to try and get the get the uh, public order issues under control and this army needs to ultimately they're going to declare war on us at some point again so this force that's coming in needs to attack Kutak or Calcutta to try and get a peace with the Mughals before anything goes badly wrong but actually well bearing in mind next turn we do get a fifth rate um, I'm going to hit end turn and let bad things happen Like, yeah, that was... We weren't ever going to stop them with that small garrison. We did 500 men's worth of damage. What? They're even contemplating attacking my garrison... My, my capital. That's a grave, grave um, error there. I'll take your alliance now. I need the money. And I will immediately break it if you force me to use it. Which, by now, the risk should be quite low. Yeah, we gave them military access because 
didn't really have a lot of choice. I think it was only for 20 turns. Yeah, there's a giant Moogle stack that's on the way, but hopefully, if they've done that, that means they've left somewhere like Calcutta exposed. That's the wish. There. Army destroyed. Not entirely. Ottawa scouts. Native warrior auxiliary. Okay, before we engage... Okay, let's take... Hey, we've got some good tr good amount of cash that turn. You men fall back. They're going to raid Calicut, which is a bit of a bummer. You men can't yet fully replenish again because of just money. But put Arcot, Arcot under siege. Fleet arrives. <gasps> Might be able to rush take Calcutta. Then give it back to them. For, well, not give it back to them, but peace out with the Mughals over it. Ooh, this could be pretty big. Um, but looking at the timer, we're definitely at the end of this episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for, hopefully, some good news. This attack could go badly wrong, though. Radio, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. See you next time.